wives I want to share with you today. I want to talk about the Christian wife. And in these days of ERA, I think you need to understand exactly where you are in Jesus Christ, who you are, and your position in the home. How can I talk about Christian wives without talking about something that will upset somebody? I'm sure I'm going to tread on somebody's toes, especially with the freedom that people have today, changing ideas, and yet I turn to the Word of God and nothing's really changed. For those of you who are wives, let me read to you from Ephesians chapter 5, first of all, verse 21. The Bible says, Submit to one another out of reverence for Jesus Christ. The second thing that is directly for wives is in the next verse, verse 22. Wives, submit to your husbands as to the Lord. Submit to your husbands as to the Lord. There's the instruction. What does it mean? It's great, isn't it, if you stop and think about what it says. But then some wives find it very frightening and very threatening. So we have to find out what submit means. I found a little book that had an excellent definition in it. It's so good I want to share it with you. The book's called Alone in the Spirit. And the writer says this. Listen carefully. My image of a submissive wife is of a strong woman who loves the Lord with her whole being, who's learned to speak her convictions with great love and respect, but doesn't try to force them upon her husband. She's secure in the love of Jesus and trusts the Lord to sustain her. She stands proudly by her husband, letting the world see she's pleased with this man whom the Lord has made her protector. Now, if you didn't listen this yesterday morning, you and I may be on two different wavelengths. Because yesterday I talked to husbands, and it seems to me that from what the Bible tells us, if the husband hasn't got his role right in Jesus Christ, you as a wife has a, a particularly difficult problem. He's called you into a position that's unique. He's called you into a position that's wonderful and glorious but not if your husband is not with you on these things. So let's think about it again. Who is the Christian wife? What should she be doing? First of all this, a Christian wife is a strong woman in Jesus. Now that's very different from being a strong person in yourself because the strong person in themselves is usually selfish and very difficult to get along with. So what does it mean to be a strong woman in Jesus Christ. First of all, in the area of guidance for other people, she would not manipulate somebody else. She guides, she gives advice, and she does it in love. That's not always the way it comes across, is it? Some wives are very forceful. That's being kind. Sometimes they're just plain pushy, but so are some men. Now, don't be distressed by this. Notice, it's never destructive if guidance is given in love. It's using the Holy Spirit's wisdom in what you say. And then there's another thing for the strong woman in Jesus. It's in the running of her home. Keeping it filled with Jesus and his love and peace. I've often said this to groups of our folk when just the women are with me. You know, I'm quite sure that you ladies who are at home, you make the atmosphere into which we come. Now, I'm not saying for a minute that men and children don't break that atmosphere, but I know we react to it. When I wasn't so redeemed, and when I was somewhat difficult to live with, I would walk in the back door and really unconsciously see how my wife was. And then I'd respond to that whether for good or ill. Now, I'm not blaming her totally for what happened. It was me. But I did respond. So if there was a love and a joy and a peace, I responded to that. If there was a tension, I responded to that. You say, why did you do such a thing, Richard? Oh, very simply. I was childish. I hadn't grown up. And some husbands haven't. Maybe yours hasn't to the place he should have done and he will react to the way you are. 
Now, if you're going to be strong in Jesus, there's going to be a peace of God that passes all understanding just flowing through that home. And he's going to love it, and so are the children. And they're going to come in, not always, but more often than not, and just respond to that peace. And you know something very strange happens. We don't remember the occasions they do that. We only remember the occasions when they were difficult. Because we think so negatively at times. Begin to give these thoughts and feelings to the Lord Jesus Christ. And just let him work out what he wants to in your home. Because you can run that home in a very special way. But there's something more for you as a strong Christian. It's your prayers for the family. Are you praying for them every day? They're all so different and they need your prayers, especially if you happen to be a wife at home. You can pray when they're at work. You can pray when they're at school. Do you realize the peer group pressure on our young people in our schools? How much they need mum to be praying. You're the backup troops, and that's where God has placed you. We live in a generation that's telling us that the Christian wife, the Christian mother, has nothing really to do at home. It's the most utter nonsense you've ever heard. You've got a unique role. You've got a special role given to you by the Lord your God, and you need to honor that. And as you do, he will begin to honor you. But there's something else here I want to share with you. A Christian wife is supportive she's never pulling down she's always building up does that describe you is that what your husband finds when you're at home or when you're out with others you're supportive of him now, I didn't say you always agree that would be terribly boring it's not that you don't agree it's the way you disagree that makes the supportive wife first of all this means that she is sensitive to him sensitive to what's going on in his life sometimes taking time just to sit where he sits she's sensitive to all her husband's needs it amazes me how you ladies get to understand your husbands don't kid me oh yes you do you understand exactly how he is sometimes you pretend to play dumb but that's not it and you can support him or you can undermine him also you realize the pressures he's under I've watched two friends in this area and it's unique. One just seems to be utterly unaware and just totally doing her own thing. The other one is quietly involved, never pushing, but always there. When her husband leaves in the morning, she just makes sure he has a little list in his hand so that he knows exactly who he's to see, where he's to go, what he's to do, and away he goes and does it beautifully. And he said to me one day, I just need that sort of backup. Now, she doesn't feel badly about it. Why? Because, you see, God makes you a helpmeet. He gives you the parts in the marriage that your man lacks. That's why it's a partnership. And the world looks and says, oh, you two are incompatible. God says, no, they're not. They're complementary. I've put them together, and they're different. Isn't that wonderful? The second thing of the supportive wife, she's proud of the man she married. She says so. She acts in that way. She doesn't pull him down or talk him down, either in public or with the children. What devastation we bring into a home when husband and wife disagree in front of the children. Children are so quick to pick this up. Straight away they know how to play the game. They'll divide the two. They'll talk to mum because she's the weaker. They'll talk to dad because he'll agree with them. And straight away we have division in the house. That ceases to be the supportive wife. That ceases to be the mature husband. We have to be aware of these things. But also there's more. She remembers the man she married and why she married him. And not anyone else. You listen to some couples and you really wonder why they ever bothered to marry. I mean, they don't seem to love each other. I found one couple who live in the same bed and write to each other through their lawyers. What's gone wrong? Well, nothing happened overnight. Just gradually they drifted apart. Be aware of that. Be sensitive to that.
if she had been supportive, if he had been mature, that would never have happened. There's a third thought for Christian wives that I want to share with you. A Christian wife has her own opinions. I think that's terribly important to understand. How false some teaching is within the Church of Jesus Christ these days. They make it sound that because a wife is submissive, they get totally ro the wrong idea. And they make that woman a doormat. We came across a group very recently in the South where the woman is not allowed to speak unless the husband's present. I think Jesus would be horrified. He himself had conversations with women on their own. And here we are in this day and generation, so enlightened, and we're going back to the pre-Jesus days and trying to say it's of the Lord. It isn't. We've been put together in partnerships in marriage, and we must honor that. If we do anything else, we're not of God. We're going our own route. So beware of false teaching. Submissiveness is never becoming a doormat. It's much more than that. First of all, the submissive wife acknowledges that she was saved by Jesus Christ just as much as her husband was. Remember this, won't you? Your husband was not saved on your behalf. You were saved. Also, she recognizes that the Holy Spirit brings revelation and messages to her as she reads the Word of God, just as much as to her husband. In some of these groups, m women can't have revelation, especially for men. I think men who say that haven't read the Word of God. In the town where I worked in England, we had a couple we knew well. They went to a different church from us, and the wife was never allowed to speak in the husband's presence in the church. The women were never allowed to teach because of what is said to Timothy, which I think has no revel rev anything to do with us today, no relevance at all. But then what happened? Here was a wife, spiritual, wonderful, had so much to give, and she was never allowed to give it in that church. The Lord Jesus Christ frees women and always did. There's one other thing. A Christian wife acknowledges the Christian order. God, her husband, herself, and then her children. But that's only if her husband's living the way God said. In Ephesians 5.25, Ephesians 5.25, Husbands, love your wives just as Jesus Christ loved the church and gave himself for her. It's not to be trodden on, it's not to be the doormat, but always to be loved first and to respond to that love in Jesus Christ. 